Okay, part three. Now what's very important architecturally uh, is not just the texture, but you gotta know where the sun's coming from. We know the sun's coming this way because there's shadow here. We can see the sun uh, against this. This is dark, this is light, and this is dark. So what's gonna make the architecture work really well is understanding the flop from light to dark. This is a shadow, shadows. The shadow here, shadow here, a little bit on that side, and this is light. So you get light, dark, light, dark. And you do this flat light, dark, light, dark, it's gonna look really good. The, 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 uh, the challenge, the, not the challenge, but the, ch yeah, the challenge is to make sure you, you really feel where the light's coming from. So I went ahead and got uh, a fresh, fresh water from the water that I was using uh, from, uh, you know, using the blues and the greens. We'll use that again a little bit later. And I'm gonna start with the lightest part of this, which is gonna be kind of a challenge. Not sure how much of our watercolor actually worked with this. So a little bit of warm. So I'm mixing some colors here. So I'm mixing a uh, little bit of this yellow. This looks like this. Oh, that's white. Ugh, don't use white. That's funky. So we got a little bit of this yellow, a little bit of this flesh color here. And we're going to really water it down. So it's going to be really watered down. And then I'm going to bring it in here and see what we got. See, that's, that's not too bad. It's a little bit warm. We're going to just wash it in like this a little bit. Both sides. Let it let it stop over here. I'm gonna let it do that. Okay. And a little bit needs a little bit of gray in it. I'm not sure I want to try this. Maybe a little bit of just a touch of black in this side here, just a little bit to kind of gray it out. And then you can you can splotch it like that, giving it that that texture. Okay. And then we're gonna give it a little bit, uh, just a bit of a warm. Just a touch of some warm color here on that side. There. We're just going to do that. And on this side, see that? Like that. There. So this is going to be warm. Can put a little, maybe some texture in here a little bit. a little bit of some different color texture but generally but generally you want you want that this side one of these sides to really be much darker like that see so you got light dark light dark okay a little bit more dark there and maybe put a little bit dark in there Be very careful to make sure you don't don't bleed in to what's happening below you there. Okay. Now again, we, then we can start with the gray. What we'll do then this other. This is sort of a gray over here, and I'm just going to try and just put a little bit of warm and black together, just a touch. I'm not a real fan of black, but the idea is that we can show a difference. In materials because like I said it looks like the building was pretty much all these different pieces were, were pretty much uh, built built differently then we go over here we got a little bit of red this rusty red just a little bit happening over here okay and we can put some rusty red over here see what happens here Even a little bit of some splotches of white actually is really good. Actually, this is more of a, a gray over there, but I don't think anyone's going to mind if it gets a little red to it. Let's see if you put a little bit to this. See a little bit of orange. A little bit of orange in there. And red. There. Hey buddy. I got it here. Let's go. It's here. There's my grandson running around. It's a little bit of this. Yeah. So it's light to dark, a little reddish. 
This is got, and I'm not gonna put any shadows in yet because I'm afraid that that shadow is gonna bleed out like it did here. But that's okay up there. Um, we can put a little bit of some more. Um, we'll put some up here. Yeah, just like this. Oop, too much. And uh, one of the tricks I showed you, you can take with your brush, you can dry it out. If you got a little too much, you can put that dry brush back on your paint and it'll soak it up. I think it's not a bad looking set of colors. Okay. I think it looks pretty good. You know, it's it just, again, most of it's the drawing, the difference in the textures. Um, I think because we've got this um, done out here in the top, the palm trees, we can go back to our green, a little bit of our green. And we can put that in here. Whoop. Again, just a little too much of the blue green. Sometimes you gotta test this stuff before you put it out there. Yeah, a little more olive. A little more olive is sort of green with, um... in fact, I'm gonna pick this up just a little bit. There we go. A little bit of that olive dab in there. We can go back in here and put some more green. In fact, in this part, there's a little, actually a little bit of yellow from the flowers. And if we leave, if we leave the top open or leave leave the white in there, we can get away with putting a little bit of yellow there, and of course go back with a little more of our purple and whatever these these the, the flowers that were here are purple. Put a little bit of this in there. We're gonna do a little. texture in there. I think we're pretty good. I think that looks good. Oh, our statue has got a little bit of red and orange to it. A little too much, but it has that bricky kind of look to it. See, I got a little too close to that, but that's okay. Some of that stuff works. And our character, he's, let's see, just a little bit of color. Maybe just a little bit of blue for this person's Outfits and just you're just dabbing on things. And let's say they're wearing this girl's wearing a red dress, little blue jeans, a little bit of blue here. That's her people. And again, because the shadow's going this way, we'll, we'll put a little uh, this on this concrete here. We'll put a little shadow just a little bit like down here. See that? Just a little bit down here. Oop, too much. There we go. Just a little bit of... And that dark. Just a little darker. As if it were like a copper plate or something. We'll put that in there like that. It's not a bad focus. Um, and then we can go... This might be dry enough. I think we can get away with it. Yeah, it's a little bit too wet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick that up just like that. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. And... I mixed a little bit of black in this one. I didn't complete it, I just kind of left it like that. See that? And... Let's see, we can do this real quick. Let's see if we can be done with it. Okay. 
There we go. That's nice. There, there's our dark. Put some dark in there. That hallway. Let's check our. Let's check this. So I think this worked out pretty good. Oh, this is a little darker. We'll put some dark in there. And whatever's going on in there. So we're looking at this. Dark, 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 and you got the shadow underneath there. So I'll take a little bit of this red and brown. Let's see if we can just do this a little bit like that. There we go. I'm gonna leave that light at the top there. It's gonna come down here. There's a shadow here. So obviously there's an overhang. And that's why you have the shadow down below that light area. So that's kind of nice. That's real watercolor stuff when you can leave the white and just add dark to it. And you've got let's maybe a little bit line there. This stays light. In fact, anything that stays really light. We could probably put a little bit of something here to kind of distinguish that. Oop. Don't get it too close. That'll work. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, this all looks good. Yeah. So now it's about now that came out pretty good. I think. What do you think? Okay, again, we always have we got light to dark. We've got our basic drawing, and uh, okay, great. Take care.